Welcome back. White TPC. I'm back out in the garage again. Uh, my wife, being the wonderful wife she is, gave me my anniversary present and uh, I had a couple blends from my local tinder box that I haven't tried, so I thought I'd give one a shot, make a video. I am smoking it in my Dr. Grabo Omega. I haven't smoked this pipe in quite some time. Smokes wonderfully. That's the beauty of not having to work a few days. You can actually do things you enjoy, like make a video. We're enjoying some mild weather here in, uh, in Northern Illinois. So it's nice. I don't have to run the heater in the garage. Good. It's a very pleasant room note to it. It does have a somewhat of a look for liquor, I guess, um, note to it. But it's called Crown Royal, so. I really do love the, uh, this is my favorite thing about this house is you have what you'd call a finished off garage, I guess. It's insulated, drywalled. Two and a half cars so we can fit our, our outdoor furniture in here in the winter. And I have somewhere to sit and enjoy my smoking experience. So again, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, anything new going on, please comment. As I was in the house after making my previous video, I'm kind of dedicating this whole day, I think, <laughs> to my pipe smoking hobby. I was on uh, pipes and cigars looking at some possible, you know, tobaccos to buy in the near future. I kind of have a lot, though, right now. sitting in there on, in my little tobacco cabinet. Not to mention she just gave me more for my present today, which I didn't expect. So I might hold off, but there are a couple. A couple more in here. I really want to try. And I've wanted to try for quite a while. Lane Limited Ready Rub, that's one of them. Um, from some of the reviews I've, I've watched. I follow one guy, his name's Ray Ray. You should check his channel out too. He's a funny guy. He lives in Kentucky. Very knowledgeable with tobacco. He did a lot of head-to-head -head, um, videos, which are always fun to watch. He kind of got me onto this Lane Ready Rub. I want to try it. Um,
he raves about it. Granted, he's not, he admits he's not necessarily uh, an aromatic smoker, so it's probably not, you know, a heavily cased blend. So, I don't know, but he does say that it has a molasses um, type of aroma to it and flavor, so that Sounds like something I would enjoy, so I'd probably get some. I'm very fortunate to have, I mean, I'm, I enjoy a lot of the tinderboxes blends, their aromatic blend they have. So, you know, I don't really need to shop online that much which is a good thing because I like to continue to contribute to the local brick and mortars, which we have a couple in this area, which is great. So, but, you know, they don't always carry everything. And you, sometimes there's just something that you gotta have that you can't get, so you have to order online. That's just how it is. But uh, I'll tell you, this weather change, it was, we had like sub-zero temperatures last week for Christmas, and it was brutal. And now this week we got to the 40s, 50s, uh, and I'm not complaining. At all. That to me is ideal. I can handle 40s, 50s all year if I could get it, but you know, living in the Midwest, you don't. <laughs> you got to deal with what you get. But we got our snow, so we got to deal with that. also shopping not only looking at tobaccos I was looking at pipes thinking about actually buying me another Dr. Grabo oh. that's what I started my pipe smoking journey I had a couple Dr. Grabos they were the first pipes that I bought I'm glad that they were because they smoke great you know when you first start out you don't want to drop 200 bucks or whatever on a pipe, you just kind of find the standard, which is the Dr. Grab House. They're very good smokers. Get them between, you know, 50, $75. But then I started buying, you know, my Savinelli's, uh, my Rossi's, but I think I need to go back and get me a, maybe a billiard, looking at maybe a Grand Duke billiard, something like that. My Omega smokes really well though. You can't go wrong with one of these. I think they're around 70 bucks. Not an overly huge bowl, but it's not small. So it's a good, you know, half hour, 40 minutes smoke. If I had to do somewhat of a quick review on this, it's Crown Royal. I guess I could just give you a good rating. Room note. Probably an 8 out of 10. Very pleasant. I think it would offend anybody. Um, I have had to light it a few times. But I didn't dry it out. So 
that could be that. Uh, flavor, yes, it's definitely got a liquor. You know, sweet, alcoholish kind of flavor. Which is very pleasant as well. I like it. I think she got me a couple ounces of it, so that'll last me a little while. Uh, since I, in my my gap to where I haven't been making content, I started smoking. I started kind of leaning more towards the Virginia Flake blends. Now I haven't, I haven't like experimented with a lot of different ones, but uh, I started with Aaron Moore Flake and then uh, Luxury Navy Flake, Orlick Golden Slice, um, and I am enjoying them. Am I ready to just completely go to those and just forget about aromatics? No. I like them both pretty much the same. So, um, as I stated, when I started smoking, I was nowhere near ready to go to Englishes and I still am not. Maybe one day, I don't know. Uh, my palate has changed when it comes to food. As I grow older, maybe my palate will change as I, with my tobacco as I grow older too. I don't know. But there are definitely times where I would rather grab one of my, pack pack some of my air and more in my pipe instead of my aromatic. Some people consider air and more aromatic, but it's a Virginia Flake. I still prefer my creme brulee over probably anything. I don't know if that'll ever change, but I do smoke it less, so. I'll tell you this, I will never ever the rest of my living days um, walk away from the YP YTPC from this pipe smoking community. I enjoy it so much. I get so much just good vibes, good advice from many of those that I follow. This is something that's going to stick with me the rest of my life, as well as hobby. Still got many friends and family who uh, they're still very confused about the decision I made. <laughs> kind of, I don't know. Confusing to me, but. but they've accepted it. They're okay with it. My kids, they, they, uh, the whole newness of it is worn off, I guess. So, they just accept it as it is. Which is kind of. You know, the more I think about it, my mom, she's kind of, she was, she was one of them that was really confused about my decision. And I'm like, how is it any different? My mom, she's a quilter, okay? She makes amazing quilts. And uh, she's very, very talented. So I told her, it, it's probably hard for you to look at this, but it's not any different than your hobby that you, you make quilts, you're correct, you're into crafting. This is no different. Um, this is a collectible 
lifestyle slash hobby. Uh, I think it kind of helped her understand a little more when I explained it that way. Too many people, you know, they they can't think back to the way it was when they were kids. You know, almost everybody or a good percentage of the population was smoking one way or another, whether it be cigarettes, cigars, pipes, whatever. And of course, then, you know, the government stepped in with the regulations and, you know, they still get their share of their money from the tobacco companies. That hasn't changed, but, you know, they got to they gotta brainwash the masses, I guess, one way or another. It's kind of sad, but. So anyway, just thought I'd do another quick video. Ain't really that quick, but. Just again, hope everyone has a wonderful New Year's Eve tomorrow. And uh, until next time, keep them lit.